Hello, my name is Idelise Baez, and I am going to be demonstrating how to use Data Direct Connect for ODBC to connect to the Oracle Service Cloud. Starting off, you will have already installed the Data Direct Connect driver, and from there, you can open the ODBC Administrator tool, which I have open on my window right here. You're going to want to create a connection to the Oracle Service Cloud database that you want to access data from. I have already created a database connection called Test OSC 1408. I'm going to show you what you need to input to create a connection for yourself. So right here, you're going to want to click Add and you will enter a data source name. This can be whatever you want to identify the data source that you are connecting to. You can add a description if you want, and then you'll input the host name and the interface name. Now in order to make sure that this connection is working, you can enter the username and password, and you can see that the connection is established. So now that you have created this connection, you can access this data through several different BI tools, and I'm going to show you how to access it through Excel using both Microsoft Query as well as inserting a pivot table. So now using Microsoft Query, we can go to From Other Sources, From Microsoft Query. You can find the connection that we created using the ODBC administrator, Test OSC 1408. It's going to ask you to log in. And from here, you can also choose the different columns or tables that you want to access. Let's just insert a couple of things from all types just to show you an example of how this query wizard works. This section allows you to choose certain rows based on um, if the numbers are less than or equal to, and you can kind of work on what data specifically you want. You don't have to, you can move on and maybe if you want to sort the data specifically, ascending or descending by one of the tables you've selected. And you can either return this data to Microsoft Office Excel or you can view it in Microsoft Query. I'm gonna click Microsoft Excel and existing worksheet. I'm gonna show you a report I created. So the report that would pop out for instance, is this one right here. As you can see, this is very similar. It has the, the blue tables right here. I don't have any data in the tables I just selected. This is an example of what it would look like if you selected real column and time column, and then you can graph that data. So if you want to connect using a pivot table, you're going to go to Data, Connections, and you're going to add a new workbook connection. You can see this is a couple of the other connections I've created before. You're going to click Browse for More, go to Connect to a New Data Source, and then this is the Data Connection Wizard. You'll go Next for Other Advanced, click on your Connection tab, and you can find the ODBC Administrator connection we created at the beginning of this session. The one I created was Test OSC 1408 going to enter the username and password you can test the connection and it has been established. So from here it can ask you to connect to just a specific table or you can connect to all the tables and just click on one of the tables and then you can save the data connection file. So now I have created Bittable. I can access that through the pivot table. Click on use an external data source. You can see the table we created. And then it's asking you to verify that this is the data source, test OSC 1408, so that you can enter the password. And now you have all of the fields within that table that we selected. So you can click on them over here on the right, select several of them, and from there you can insert a table using this data. So an example of what I've done with a pivot table is over here. 
I have created this graph using a pivot table and you can see the data on the left. Thanks for watching and seeing how easy it is to connect using our ODBC drivers. If you want to check out any of our other drivers, come on over to datadirect.com.